What's up guys, this is Tomoy from TomoyRC.com and uh, this is my uh, unboxing and initial uh, thoughts on the uh, uh, Maverick Desert Wolf. I've already written, I've got some videos um, up on my YouTube channel with the uh, uh, with its brother actually, the uh, Timberwolf, which is the same platform, only a few uh, differences, small differences like uh, bumpers and the body and you've got a short cost truck. This is a four-wheel drive uh, buggy, which is a one-eighth uh, one scale uh, buggy, but the same platform as a short course, already uh, one-tenth uh, scale short course. So what we have in the box is a um, um, RTR uh, version, so we've got a 2.4 gigahertz radio. I won't be uh, talking too much about this. The only issue with this, uh, in my opinion, it's got uh, not enough range. I've uh, lost range in normal use for like... Uh, it's two or three times I I had to you know watch out for this and uh, please do check your failsafe because my failsafe was not set and as far as uh, I know there's no manual in this uh, uh, instruction manual how to set up a set the failsafe so you have to look uh, in different uh, strata uh, mavericks so this is something that you need to know please do check your failsafe because you may lose your um, RC car and uh, uh, yeah something else might also happen you've got uh, the instructions uh, uh, manual and you've got an uh, exploded uh, exploded view which is uh, nice to have when you walk on your uh, on your RC car and uh, you know you just want to set it up and uh, you know, when you set it uh, back together and uh, some pieces are left <laughs> then you can check what what went wrong uh, some uh, uh, some additional parts uh, um, sp bigger spur gear this one is 62 uh, 62 spur gear and uh, some basic wrenches and uh, yeah small plastic which may be needed uh, in the first period of uh, you know using the um, the mm, this uh, this buggy this is a buggy for me it looks uh, really nice uh, i like the way it looks uh, not to forget about the uh, uh possibility of reversing the uh, the body so it looks uh, this way uh, i personally prefer the uh come on um the uh, classic looks but uh, there you go you can have it uh, this way and uh yeah if you like it this way uh, you may you may have it so uh, that's about it uh, it looks really nice it feels solid all the plastics feel really uh, really tough really nice but they are uh, not hard they are sort of um, elastic so this is really nice the tires compound uh, is pretty hard i will be testing those tires on not on the buggy but i've bought them to test uh, them because i won't be testing this buggy unfortunately uh, i will be uh, i'm already testing the timberwolf and i've put uh, i will put those tires to just to test them on my uh, timberwolf so the uh, four wheel drive short cost truck from maverick which is you know uh, brother of of uh, of this platform and the uh, platform is uh, um is um told to be uh, uh pretty um, um light i've got my device special device to okay now we've got it okay let's uh, uh, put the body on and, and we'll check uh, what's the weight of the vehicle it's uh, as you can see it's uh, 2,381 grams, so you may tell me if it's uh, really that light or not. This is a construction uh, based on uh, composite and uh, aluminum. You can see it uh, from the bottom. I like that uh, you've got the uh, alloy, uh, mm, not the alloy, but uh, uh, Alan, sorry, uh, the those um, those elements here are from uh, aloe wrenches. So um, this is this is nice. Uh, Alan wrenches, yeah, <laughs> that's the word for for them. I, I like that. I like the uh, construction. I like the idea. Um, shock uh, shocks 
you know, just out of the box, they, I would say they, they are fine. You've got a 4000 kV motor, which is a brushless motor. You've got 80 amp uh, electronics, uh, uh, which is uh, capable to handle 2S from the box and 3S if you switch uh, the fan to 12 volt from 5 volts. And uh, but I don't recommend because I've I've put a 3s and I've just uh, switched off the uh, uh, the fan. Don't do this because I've uh, probably I've damaged two of my um, receivers by doing that. So uh, yeah, maybe you just don't want to do that. Uh, nine kilogram uh, servo w with um, metal. Uh, elements inside uh, everything is waterproof you got waterproof receiver box so this is uh, this is nice to have um, this stuff uh, waterproofed um, you've got uh, yeah you've got 17 uh, e um, this one the desert buggy uses the 17 mil m mils um, hexes which is uh, which is nice so you can you can use uh, you know 1 8 scale um, wheels on that you have to do some uh, buy some upgrades to do it on the Timberwolf but it is uh, possible as well uh, we've got some uh, aluminum shock towers front and rear we've got some uh, aluminum chassis braces uh, right uh, uh, down there and uh, some uh, some aluminum here uh, which is also nice the battery uh, place uh, with the velcro straps works pretty nice uh, sort of pain in the ass is only when you fit your battery in here the uh, the strap uh, the strap here and uh, when you place it and you stick it stick it here it's uh, sometimes hard uh, to put it through yeah this the battery box blocks it it's pretty easy right now as you don't have the battery and we are in the studio but when you're there you've got the battery here so the angle is uh, the angle is like like this like uh, uh, yeah like this and your fingers are you know it's cold your fingers are wet your fingers are uh, not well uh, and uh, you've got some sand and you're in a hurry this is sort of a small pen in the ass. Uh, I will have to, you know, do something here so that uh, the strap just uh, slides um, pretty nicely there and it goes through uh, through it. So yeah, but uh, it does the job. It um, the straps hold the battery pretty well. Uh, you can fit a 3s lipo hard pack, no problems. 3s uh, 5000 I've uh, I've packed here and you know and it fits just it fits just perfectly. Uh, so yeah that's pretty that's pretty nice um you've got some uh, some uh, uh, mm, thicker pins than in uh, some of my hpi uh, um, rc cars and the uh, mm, the the balls on the uh, on the ends are also the mm, bigger diameter so uh, this all makes uh, should make this uh, uh, this one and the timberwolf pretty durable it drives really, uh, really nicely. Uh, I've been driving uh, quite a lot of times uh, uh, my Timberwolf, and uh, yeah, I'm I'm happy to drive it. But I would like to put a 3S into it without, uh, you know, having to change anything. So this is a, a downside for uh, for me. Uh, right now, when I'm going to back to the 3S, I'm gonna just change to a different um, electronics uh, so that I, you know, don't have any um, any problems with this. But as the instructions instructions say, uh, it is capable. It is capable of um, handling 3S. Uh, what I like about it is the accessibility of all, you know, all uh, parts. Uh, easy, very easy to work on. Everything is, uh, you know, pretty accessible. Uh, these screws, these four screws here, you just uh, take them out, and you've got uh, your spur gear. You've got your bearings on the uh, center diff. Uh, by the way, the uh, center, all the diff, the center diff, the uh, front diff, and the rear diff are full metal um, uh, geared diffs so uh, that is nice you've got some additional aluminium uh, things here as you can probably see yeah you may you may see it uh, here and uh, yeah that's um, that's mm, that's pretty uh, that's pretty it I, I guess uh, 
what can I tell you? I can tell you that uh, after a um, few uh, runs, uh, not few runs, I've, I've run it many times, my Timberwolf, I, uh, I'm just, uh, you know, nothing nothing happened, nothing broke. I uh, I bashed it, I I crashed it, and nothing nothing broke. Uh, the only thing, uh, this plastic here, uh, was the only part I had to I had to change. So that's pretty nice. Yeah, when it comes to the setup, you don't really get uh, much possibility of uh, of a suspension setup. There are some basic setups. You can change the angles here, but um, you won't be able to change. Uh, uh, I don't know what you call this uh, this th this link. Uh, you may have to change it to the you know the uh, turnbuckle uh, to have a possibility of uh, uh, you know mo more uh, more of the uh, uh, setup. Looks pretty nice. This will drive. I'm sure this will drive really nice because already the uh, the show calls. Uh, is uh, very nice uh, uh, to drive. I like it very much. I like my shockers very much, and uh, this one doesn't have that much, you know, of a parachute over here. And uh, also, which uh, um, uh, what annoys me uh, when riding short course on a uh, little bit uh, wet sand, all the dirt, all this, all the stuff goes into the into the body and sticks to it. And also, as uh, you know, the. Uh, uh, the body of a short course is uh, more uh, goes here. Uh, more of the stuff of the uh, of the dirt goes inside, and you've got a lot of uh, a lot of mess. I don't like that. And uh, um, it it gets uh, you've got uh, this is Timberwolf. See that that's 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 the difference. Okay, more or less. This would be a short course. Okay, different wheels as well. These wheels are of a little bit uh, greater diami uh, diameter, but uh, not that much, really. Um, yeah, about the dirt, you won't have uh, this problem that much in a buggy. So uh, pretty nice with a buggy, with a, you know, also with stadium trucks and and monster trucks as well, as those wheels are outside of the of the body and then don't don't put all the dirt inside that is one of the uh, downside for me of the uh, short course and this will uh, be jumping uh, better and uh, yeah because of the no parachute effect and maybe because of this uh, this wing here so yeah that's pretty it uh, i won't be driving this one i uh, you can see uh, me driving the uh, uh, yeah for now uh, you can see me driving the timberwolf so same construction and uh, already you can recommend it uh, this is Maverick, but uh, you know, I've, it's it's uh, for me personally of uh, very good quality and better quality of the elements, components, and the feel that uh, every uh, other Mavericks uh, that I've uh, tested I had in my hands, and I did have uh, some of the Strada um, Reds, so the brushless vehicles. This is different. This is uh, this is uh, uh, quite a different world. I w I, I would say. Um, I like the uh, the the C hub constructions, no problems there. I've had some impacts, uh, not nice impacts. Uh, uh, bigger ball bearing from the inside, a little bit smaller, but not that small uh, from the outside. Uh, so this is also very uh, very important uh, for me. Not not that much uh, play here actually uh, on the on the on the hubs. No play at all, I would say. Uh, some yeah here some of the play is, uh, is here but also not uh, not that much yeah i like to see that so thank you guys for watching uh, please comment please uh, hit the like button or if you don't like the video hit the don't like button please subscribe to my channel to get some more information and um, you know just to stay tuned uh, thanks again and bye bye